Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. You want to kill yourself because some douchey people who don't want to marry you for who you are, your deen, your ikhlaq, which is what the Messenger Sallallahu came to teach us. For people like that, you would rather kill yourself for people like that. Shouldn't you be making a more positive meaning like, Ya Allah, Ya Al-Wakil, thank you for saving me from such scum of in-laws and a husband. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Driving to see my girlfriend. Okay, now, before we jump into this video, uh, all of you who are like, click, click. Right. Well, if this video isn't for you, I don't want to upset you or be the reason that somehow you still feel upset and you're getting frustrated. Please exit the video. Once all you, those who are too immature to understand where I'm going to go with this or too immature to have a conversation or discussion with where I'm about to go with this, please exit right now. That warning in the beginning of the video is true. Warning. The content of this video may lead you to have higher Iman and a better identity of oneself. So viewer discretion is advised. I put that there because not everyone is ready to change. You understand? Not everyone is ready to change and I have to respect that. Um, driving to see my girlfriend. You know, this girl, I'm, I'm so grateful for her. Honest to God, I'm so grateful. Did I just hit it? Oops, sorry. I'm so grateful for her because... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used her... And my situation with her as a vessel to help me draw closest to him. You see, in the moment, I never thought that. In the moment, I was ready to kill myself. In the moment, I was heavily depressed. In the moment, I was rock bottom. But now that I reflect over it, I'd say nine years later, it's my 10-year anniversary coming up. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. That's awesome. I just thought of that right now. I think of it as the biggest blessing ever. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that there's going to be some things, I'm paraphrasing obviously, things that you like that aren't good for you and there's some things that you don't like which are good for you. You know, and in the moment, I didn't like what was happening to me or for me. But it was good for me. And a lot of us, meaning you guys as well, including myself, but you guys out there, are in a current situation. I got this uh, email from this sister. Again and again, suicidal help, suicidal thoughts, suicidal this. Why? Why? Tell me why. Tell me what is causing you to take your life away. Wanting... Tell me why. Oh, because my engagement broke off. My family got rejected. Not enough money. Wow. You want to kill yourself. Because some douchey people who don't want to marry you for who you are, your deen, your ikhlaq, which is what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi came to teach us. For people like that, you would rather kill yourself for people like that. Shouldn't you be making a more positive meaning like, Ya Allah, Ya Al-Wakil, thank you for saving me from such scum of in-laws and a husband. Shouldn't you be saying that, Doa? You see, it's the meaning that we get make it. At the moment when I was driving to see my girlfriend in Brooklyn, the meaning I gave it at that time was, man, it's over, it's coming to an end, because I know it was coming to an end. Who am I kidding? I knew it was coming to an end. The meaning I was making was it was coming to an end. But if I think about it now and I could remake meaning for that moment, it would be my life is just beginning. It's just starting. That was the biggest blessing to ever happen to me. You see, the meaning that we make from our circumstances and situations defines how we feel. And how we feel defines how we act. If you feel crummy, you're going to act crummy. You're going to spew that poison out. People are like, SQ, you're so positive. Well, that's how I feel. So I act that way. Some people fake it. Some people fake like they're positive. But you have a real conversation with them and their negativity really shows up. Because they're making negative meanings of their circumstances, situations. So I want to ask you, what negative circumstance are you in right now? Is it negative? 
says who? Who says it's negative? You do. I hope you understand where I'm going with this. I really, I genuinely hope you understand where I'm going with this. A lot of people clicked out of this video because you click beta stores, you're so frustrating and all that. Good, good riddance. Please go. I don't want people in my community like that, man. Like who are just so like obsessive and this is not a cult. It's a community. All right. If you want to give a suggestion, give a suggestion and keep it moving. But don't try to force your ideas on anyone. All of you are free to leave anytime that you want. All of you are free to unsubscribe anytime that you want. Please, please go for it. I'm not holding you hostage. That's not what this is. If you can vibe with the story, good. If not, come in tomorrow. Maybe there's a story you can vibe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then come back another. I post every single day, alhamdulillah. And also, that quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad video is so fire. It's so f Undersell, over-deliver. I'm not going to say anything else. Stay tuned. I think Wednesday is going to be ready. Wednesday or Thursday, inshallah. Stay tuned. Whatever negative situation you're in right now, is it negative? Or is that your perception? Have you perceived it to be negative? What was that sister really feeling? Ah, suicidal? Was she really feeling that? I'm, obviously, she needs to get the help that she needs. They're in like freaking India. Like, how can I, I, I? You know, I could talk to you, but that's I'm limited. You know, her parents, her family, her brothers, her sisters need to be on top of this. So, is she really feeling suicidal? If she was truly, I wouldn't have heard back from her like seven times. Right? Is she feeling suicidal, or is she feeling a bit hurt? It's how we interpret our circumstance situation. Was I depressed back then and ready to be a suicidal and kill myself? Maybe. Or was I just really hurt? I was really hurt. You see, if we interpret our life circumstance situation, like, oh, it's all over. The highs are highs. The lows are lows. Some people are like that. When the highs are really, when, the, when it's good, you can't get too high. You can't get too low. Got to stay in the middle. Got to say, you got to keep it chill. Got to keep it in the middle. You copy what I'm saying? MashaAllah. You're so lucky, MashaAllah. If you made it to this video right now, you're so lucky. Right now, you're learning the secrets of how to improve your life. These are the types of videos that don't go viral. These are the types of videos that just don't go. But you know what? Changes are coming. Change is a coming. I'm focusing more on my Instagram content and all that sort of stuff. That's it. That's my perception. You know why it's not going viral? Because I'm not doing it. That's why I'm not doing it. It's going to go viral, inshallah. It's going to go viral, inshallah. It comes from my efforts, my efforts, and the help of Allah, always. Anyways, keeping it moving. Or is the sister just feeling kind of hurt? Really, really hurt? Right? Is your circumstance really that bad? Oh, so bad. Or are you just feeling a little hurt? Feeling a little down right now? Or are you just a little bit? It's okay to feel a little down, a little hurt. It's all right. I was feeling hurt in that time because I felt a sense of loss. I thought I was losing someone. I thought I was losing her. Why do you feel a sense of loss? Is it because you got rejected? You thought you lost something? You lost in-laws. You lost a potential spouse. Right? That's why you're feeling a sense of loss. But you never lose anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never allows anything to be lost. Everything is within His knowledge. Nothing is ever lost. Allah doesn't forget. How can it be lost? Boing! Like, come on! How is it ever lost? Tell me! Explain loss to me! Come on, one of your scholar... Explain loss to me. How is it ever lost? If it's in the ilm al ghaib, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun, right? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. I'm stunned right now. Oh, that's cute. Cut it out. Stay away from the Arabic SQ. <laughs> I had too much coffee, actually. I'm home. If you're wondering, SQ, why aren't you in that building? It's because I, I, my cohort is home learning, schooling today. And then I go back in the building on Wednesday, inshallah. Be in You know what I mean? I think I'm going to end the video somewhere over here. I don't want it to get too, too long. Maybe you're enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, mashallah, I'm enjoying recording it. So I'm happy that you're enjoying watching it. Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi rajiun. What is that really saying? It's like, to Allah we belong, to Allah we return. So if something got taken away from you, is it gone? 
or has it returned back to Allah? SubhanAllah. It just depends on how you view it, doesn't it? So if you're out there just like sad and depressed, change your circumstance. Change how you interpret that circumstance. Change how you view yourself. Change how you feel. Are you sad and depressed and suicidal or are you just feeling a little low right now? Are you feeling a little hurt right now? Are you feeling like you lost something? Do you ever lose anything? No, it's all in the wisdom of Allah and His knowledge in the ilm al ghaib It's returned back to Allah. And you haven't lost something. You've, you, you are interpreting your lost circumstance as something wrong. As something negative. If you interpret it as a win, do you think you'd feel differently? If I back then would have interpreted the loss of losing her as a win, if I knew what I know now, don't you think my life would have been different even earlier? But that's from the Qadr of Allah. I'm not here to rethink of the past. Right? So I'm letting you know, isn't did you really lose those crappy in-laws and crappy potential husband? Ugh. Or did you just gain? Did you lose or did you gain? Did you lose or did you gain? That's how we perceive things. Did you lose or did you win? Which one is it? You decide. Not me. You decide. <laughs> Are you following me right now? This is some straight up facts, bro. Facts, but I'm sorry. This video is not going to do well. You know why? Because it doesn't have some beefy gossip about Umar Suleiman and Yaqeen Institute. So, it has this instead. Oh, it doesn't have any information about, you know, what's happening with Dawood Kim. So, a lot of people might not want to watch it. Oh, it doesn't have any information about Mufti Mank and Nicki Minaj or someone else famous following my guy. Shout out to Mufti Mank. So people are going to watch. You guys love the tea. Be honest, you do. You might, you might try to hold me accountable for SQ clickbait titles, but the truth of the matter is I'm making clickable titles for topics that a lot of people don't really care about. Yeah, I could throw Billie Eilish's name in there, but what was the video about? It was about modesty. Right? Or am I tripping right now? Was that not what the video was about? It was about modesty. It was about being secure with wearing the hijab. Wasn't that what it was about? Right? Any video I made with about Adam Saleh or some name like that, what was it really about? Was it about him? Or was it about giving da'wah, teaching people, being patient with people, accepting people, understanding people, making du'a for people, covering for people, hiding for people? What was the deeper lessons behind them? Was this video about me driving to see my girlfriend? Yeah, that was like, uh, that, that was the catalyst of the idea. But what was it really about? How to interpret your feelings. How to make meaning of your feelings. Interpreting loss. So you could sit over here and do all this complaining, but I, honest to God, don't give a damn. I just don't. I, I don't care. And this is not a cry for, this is coming from a place of love, believe me. And I don't want to sound rude or arrogant, but I don't care if you don't like my title or my thumbnail. I don't care. Am I supposed to care? I don't care. Does that make me a bad person for not caring? Because I know if you watch the video, it could change your life. But I know not everyone is ready to change their lives. And anything that was supposed to hit your ears was meant by Allah. And if something hasn't hit your ears, that means it wasn't meant for Allah, from Allah to hit your ears. So all of those who are not watching, the millions of people that I deserve from my hard work and effort and knowing how much I could help people that should be watching, they're not watching it yet. See how I interpreted it? Yet. But inshallah, one day they will. And they're going to see these gems of a video. What did Mr. Beast just upload the other day, yesterday, about his five-year uh, thing where he told himself five, 10 years ago, or five, five years ago, about where he was. He was at 8,000 subscribers in five years. He's one of the top YouTubers out there, isn't he? Five years. Imagine in 10 years where he would be. Who knows? Inshallah, something good, doing some goodness for the people, but also calling people to Allah. Also reminding people about the hereafter and the day of judgment. You see how deep these videos are, guys? But I appreciate all of those who, the real ones out there. I'm not interested in millions of people. I'm interested in millions of real ones out there. Not random people to just fluff up my numbers. I'm looking for real community members. People who enjoy the content, want to be here. And I love you guys. This is not, sometimes you guys say that I'm focusing on the haters, this and that. And you know what? You're right. I should focus on all the people who love and support. Because the truth of the matter is they're far more who love and support than hate or troll or whatever. And even if they hate, they're my Muslim brothers and sisters. You're not a troll. 
You know, I love you all for the sake of Allah. This video did get a little long, uh, but shout out to you guys for sticking through with this. Check out some of my other videos or don't stick. To, uh, stay tuned for that um, uh, quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad video. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope, mashallah. Uh, stay tuned for that. And I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, meeting tomorrow, inshallah, a.k.a. I'm out. Also, Miami won. Shout out to Miami Heat.